So, new music. And that was a journey in and of itself. <laughs> so, welcome to the Gene Pool Variety Hour, episode welcome 72. Back to me. Six months later, uh, we are back. I don't know what we're going to do. We're just kind of just catching up tonight. We probably do a Today, production meeting gonna... live. So what's up, Dexter? It's, it's going to be all catch up. But anyway, oh, so Declan, what's up, man? So what you heard, what you just heard was our new theme music. Um, mm -hmm. Even though I had paid for the license for the other music we it's used to sucks. use, it kept getting like copyright stuff, which we're not getting paid for anything. But I didn't like that, so. I paid a guy on Fiverr to give us some new music, so it's ours now. But it was a long, it was five revisions to get where we wanted to go. So I have all five revisions if folks want to hear them um, to see where we started. The um, Housewife DIY Facebook video music through Bollywood, through to, uh, banjo, you know, Paddle Faster Banjos. To yeah. where we ended up, so um, it was interesting. The, it was still I, a fun journey. I think the dude was like from Czechoslovakia or Yugoslavia or something like that. Anyway, so okay, um, so what I thought we would do is maybe first we'll start kind of just talk about where we've been. So yeah. we've been gone for six months now. Um, and not not on not Connor's fault. It's all been on me because since our last episode in December. I took a new job mm -hmm. from Georgia to Ohio, sold my house in Georgia, bought a house in Ohio, moved to Ohio, started a new job. And we downsized. We had little space in our house. There was no place for doing podcasting. But there was a little tiny room in our attic that, that was just for storage. And I'm like, that's a wasted space. I'm going to turn it into a studio. So I did, and I want to show you pictures from where we started to where we ended up. So that's where I started. If you got for if you're just listening, sorry, um, I'll put them up on the show notes. But there's where we started, just basically storage. Um, I mean, the floors you could feel your feet going through. That's cleaned out. I still had to dig up. I can't. I'm pointing to the screen like you guys can see me pointing to the screen. Um, had to tear there's, up part of the... there's 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 nothing even on on the stream. I don't think anybody sees what what you're talking about. No, no. Well, yeah, there is on on the stream. Oh, now is. I see it. Okay, now I so, see. So anyway, uh, yeah, maybe it's maybe it's, maybe there's delay. Anyway, so yeah, there was that's the delay. that's the growth process. I put in uh, cheap flooring. I put in insulation. I put in fake brick back here, um, and then started decorating it. And so put all that stuff in there. So it's it's been. I've had to do a little bit at a time on the weekends. It's taken me a while. Um, it was super hot because there was not a stitch of insulation on the walls, in the attic, or on the ceiling at all. So I had to do all that. So, yeah. But now I have a space. Now, this summer is going to be super hot, even though there's a vent here and there's a fan. Um, but come fall and winter, it'll be great. It'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so that's what we've done. I'm going to turn that off so we're not watching it over and over and over. Um, but anyway... So that's where we've been. I've been learning a new job. Um, I work for the VA, a VA hospital here now, and uh, and yeah. So that's took us six months to kind of get back to here, um, and here we are. So we got new music, we got new mm -hmm. place. Connor's got new decorations. He's in the same place, but at least he's got new decorations. Yeah. And uh, so that's kind of where we've been. Um, that's where you've been. Yeah. I mean, life's been the same for you though, right? Somewhat. I mean, I mean, I got a promotion at work. That's always good. More money. Yeah. Especially yep. since you're, um, especially since something's happening in October, right? Oh yeah, my wedding. Yeah, somebody's getting in, married. So oh, Dragon yeah, Con is just Con. over four months now. Yeah. So Dragon Con is going to be your bachelor party, right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and I'm serious. I pull out all the stops. Yeah. We're we're. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you just mentioned that with Phil in here, if Phil is still in here. So um, that you might have said, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> oh, I want to experience the full thing. You, 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 um, just, just to give you an idea, at last year's 
botched live recording at Dragon Con, Phil wore a leather dog mask, like full headed dog mask. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So anyway, um, but but yeah, so we're. If you guys are here for the first time, you don't know what we do. Um, oh, by the way, I'm Sean. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm Dad. <laughs> that guy on the other screen is my son, Connor. Um, and we are the only nerds in our house. So we started doing this years ago just to have something. We were always talking about nerd stuff. Nobody else in the house understood what we were talking about or really cared what yeah. we were talking about. Uh, and then we decided, why not start recording? We started a podcast, did it off and on for a while. Then he moved to Ohio, what, two years ago now? Has it been two years? Um, close to two. Close yeah, almost two, two years. Um, it'll, um, it'll be two come... Actually, now June. that I think about it, it is actually two years. Yeah, it's two years this month, right? Yeah, because you left yeah. on my birthday. Because I remember saying it was the best birthday present ever. You moved out of my house. <laughs> Absolutely. So yes. it's almost exactly I feel the love. So... I, I, I feel the love. So, you know, you feel the love. There was that, and so right before you moved, we started kind of doing a stream, and we were doing it together, and mm -hmm. then we started doing it this way. So I like yep. this way better because I can look at you this way, as opposed to us sitting side by side. But anyway, that's true. So we uh, we typically will review a random movie. Uh, we literally roll that's, dragon that's dragon that's a dice. Big common thing we do every week. We'll we'll literally roll dragon dice to pick a movie off one of the streaming services to watch. Um, so this, this week, since we haven't gotten together in so long, we decided we would go back and revisit the movie that we watched for the very first episode we did, Gora, yep. uh, Turkish sci-fi movie with gangster rap, just saying. So, um, that's our movie that we're going to talk about tonight. We usually do a geek question, uh, where Connor comes up with some weird geek oriented debate question and we go off on that. I actually do have a random question. It's not it's not essentially geek related, but it is fun to discuss. Okay, well we'll we'll we'll, we'll do a segment for that then. We'll make it up as we go. That's fine. Um so yeah, so that's kind of what we do. We we're looking at maybe doing some different things, but we tend mm -hmm. to hang out on here for an hour and a half or longer, and so if we add too much stuff, then we're going to be here way too long. So that's So yeah. True. Uh, so that's what we do. Uh, that's what yeah. we're going to do tonight. We're just kind of hanging out and catching up. Uh, we're hoping folks oh, yeah. stop by to say hi. Appreciate Phil and, and Declan coming in. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, um, <laughs> you want to do the music thing? Do you want to talk about the music thing or do you want to do something else? Let's do the music. Okay. It'll, and give me something to, to dance to, to get my goofy <laughs> self okay. back in groove. So... Like I said, we had had music that that we had picked off. Uh, I picked off some site and paid what I thought was a license fee to be able to use it. But then at YouTube, every time we put our stuff up on YouTube, I kept getting these things from YouTube saying, "Hey, you can't do that. It's copyright violation." I'm like, "But I even sent them, "Hey, here's my receipt for the." It didn't count, so I said, "Fine, we're going to come up with our own music." So I went to Fiverr, found this guy, uh, Creative Art Studios. I think he's from. No, he's not from Yugoslavia. He's from Georgia. Not the state Georgia. The country Georgia. The country Georgia. The country Georgia. Um, is, um, is, is, that, is that considered the Middle East or, or No, Europe? that's like Slavic kind of over in that area, if, if I'm okay. correct. If I think. If, I'm, if I think. <laughs> Evidently, I don't speak. So, <laughs> anyway. So, we told him what we did. I told him that it was a, like a nerd-oriented podcast. I sent him to our YouTube channel so he could watch it and see kind of what our music was because we kind of wanted to keep that nerdy, goofy, but kind of funky vibe to it. And said, that's kind of what we want. He said, awesome. Got it. Five-star reviews, a bunch of them. So, I figured it was a good, good. And everything that he came up with was great. But it Just took forever. It took forever to hit the vibe. So, this first one I'm going to play is the first one he came up with. And they're about a minute long each, so I'm going to play it and then tell you what my reaction was and we'll kind of go from there. Meanwhile, you get to watch Connor dance. I don't dance. I'm too white. I'm whiter than you and I still dance. I do the I do the white guy thing, the white guy dance where you you bite your lip. So 
So just listen to this. Does this sound like a nerd podcast soundtrack it thing? Sounds, it sounds like a DIY. A stay-at-home mom DIY. Thing. That's exactly. So I had, I had two thoughts, and I'll I'll say it when this is over because it's kind of loud. But I had I had two awesome. thoughts when I heard this. No, I'm not, I can't pause it. I just got played out. So should be just about done. Okay. So when I heard that, my first two reactions were what Connor just said, like one of those house, you know, two housewives have a YouTube channel or have a Facebook channel where they do DIY projects, and that's the music that plays while they're doing all their work with no, you know, kind of like the the work montage kind of thing, or like those commercials, like medication commercials, where you got like a, this beautiful model couple in. Uh, um, in a convertible, driving down a coastal road with the top down and wind blowing through their hair and the sun shining on them. That's what that. That's what the vibe that that one gave me. I'm like, that's not. I said, thanks, but no. Luckily, when you when you paid for the service, the level of service I paid for, we got like four or five revisions. So that was awesome. Yeah. Um. So we did that. Um. And. Uh, I sent him back to the drawing board. I says, no, we want something goofy, kind of funny. And oh, by the way, just so you know, the stream may end abruptly at some point. I just got notification that there's a tornado warning in my county. So just to let you know, if all of a sudden everything goes blank, I'll let you know if I'm still alive afterwards. <laughs> just you saying. better. Just saying. I can look out the window and there's no wind blowing or anything. So hopefully it's somewhere else in the county. But anyway, mm -hmm. so there was that. So he said, okay, great. I get it. I understand. I gave him some more description of what we wanted. And he came back and said, okay, here it is. This is what I got for you. <clears throat> what? Ready. Bollywood. Hey. I'm like, where did do you, you guys? Like, do, do you sound like from New Delhi? <laughs> or Bombay? I just couldn't figure out how in the world he got two southern redneck nerds from the United States. You're a redneck, not me. Leads to Bollywood. Sitar music and the whole thing. We told we um, I, no, we told him banjo and maybe that's the coolest thing he had. He had I guess because he's from Georgia he didn't really know. I don't know. But you know, he was from Georgia, but he was from the wrong Georgia. <laughs> wrong <laughs> banjo. So I, uh, I I was flabbergasted. That how in the world it still you sounds got, cool. I mean and that's what I'm saying. Every piece of music that he put together was great quality and sounded great. But for our purposes, it's like so far off the mark. I'm like, okay, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. We don't want Bollywood, because that's exactly what that was. That was like we were watching a Bollywood movie. And I, and that I was, was polite. That I was, was, I was that polite. That was like with the... What? It, um, it, it reminds me of it reminds me of that movie we watched that actually was a Bollywood movie, remember? Mm-hmm. Or um, that, that um, um Ver thing, what was it called? Serena Varana or Saran or something like that. Sh um, Sharini, um, Varangarang. <laughs> no, that's not it, but that's close enough. So, <laughs> uh, so I'm like, no, no, dude. L listen, I, I mean, that's cool. That's kind of fun sounding, but not for this kind of a podcast. I mean, you've seen, you've you've watched some of our episodes. You've seen, listened to our music and kind of listened to us a little bit. So, you know, we're looking for something. Kind of with a funky beat, but like some kind of quirky banjo-ish stuff under there, you know. So uh, absolutely, yeah. he's good at mixing. So um, he, um, so, he um, so he he's really good at that. So I said, but we're looking for like something with like a, a funky underbeat, you know, foundation with like something weird and quirky, like banjos kind of thing. Yeah. 
So well, um, like, hey, um, I th- I think it was at this point we um we we just gave him you know, the reference of Devil Went Down to Georgia. I gave him some reference, some like you know kind of bluegrassy kind of stuff. I said, hey, he's kind of puts like funk bluegrass with funk underneath. Basically something like that. We sent him some videos of some some of that some stuff to give him some reference material. And uh Hey What's up, Mitch? So uh, <laughs> the Connor show is back. <laughs> exactly. So you so, need to make um uh, you need to make I gotta make those shirts, Connor Team Connor. Shirts. I know, I know. I haven't found a good uh font for that yet. But anyway, so I said no, you know, f- think bluegrass with funk. Think P funk meets bluegrass. So now, and, and gave him some now, reference now materials. Now that I know where he's from, um, 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 it, um, it may honestly have just been a, a cultural barrier just because of where he's from, you sure. know? Sure. That's why I gave him some music clips and some different types of music off of YouTube to kind of get an idea. So yeah. this is his third revision. This is what we came up with next. <laughs> So he's it was starting to try close. to get, he's starting to get to the funky thing, but then he what? starts throwing his stuff like that, like. What exactly? I don't. I, I, that's like a, that's like a rave transition between two songs or something. I don't know. What? He's throwing this random what in there, and so again. I am not slamming quality at all. I love every one of them. If I didn't, I wouldn't play him for you guys because he's good. He's good at mixing his music. He's good at, at, at doing that and trying different things. And he was great and he was very willing to try new things. Duck jams, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, so, so here, all we got was funk. We didn't get any kind of country, bluegrassy, weird stuff, right? All we got is the funk. So, and this is almost done. All right, so I go back to him again. I'm like, okay, now we're getting closer. We got the funky stuff. What happened to the country quirky stuff? And at this point, I sent him a video of this kid that I found on YouTube that mixed his own music, and he was sitting with a banjo in his lap, and he started a funk beat, you know, on Garage Band on on his um. His, his MacBook or whatever, and then played banjo with it, mixed it up great. I'm like, dude, something like that, okay? So I was like, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Every time he was like, okay, I completely understand what you want, and then give us something different. So this is our next to last revision before we get to the final. So this is this. Then he came up with this one. It's quirky. That's true. I'm wearing my overalls with no shirt. Straw hat, it's, straw hanging out my mouth. It sounds like some jug band that would have played. I mean, I liked it, but oh, yeah. it still wasn't quite getting what we wanted. So it was too slow. We'll play, we'll play this one, and then let this one go, and then we'll play the full version of the of the final thing that became our theme song, our theme music. I kind of like this one, but not. Yeah. I wanted to add that funky stuff in there. And, um, and, and it was too slow, for, for my opinion. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we are anything but slow. You know? I'm kind of slow on the uptake sometimes. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I am, so. So am I. But anyway, we're almost done with the musical journey through the theme, theme song. <laughs> okay. So, I said, awesome. We are this close, dude. I said, take the third revision and put the fourth revision on top of it. Just smack them together like peanut butter and jelly. Just do something <laughs> like that. And he came pretty close to doing that. Came pretty close to doing that. He, you know, funk. He had, so, we finally got what we wanted. Is it perfect for what I wanted? No, but it's about as close as we were going to get. And I ran out of revisions. I wasn't going to pay him any more money. So, <laughs> So it, um, this it's still pretty good, though. Oh, it's I think it's great. So, um, but but yeah, and so of course our intro and outro stuff is just clips from this. But this is the full Gene Pool Variety Hour theme song. Okay, here we go. Yep. Official unveiling. It works into it. it takes a minute. We 
Add a little bit of funk, add a little bit of banjo, some of the keyboard stuff. And you can dance to it. It's got a good beat and you can dance to it. Just look at Connor. And I'm sure I don't have my sound. I'm sure I got the music up way too loud. We'll figure it out. I could use my I could use my other chair next next time we stream. <laughs> this chair is too creaky. I mean, I can hear it through the mic. Oh, I'm sure you can. Okay, so that is the official unveiling of the full Gene Pavarotti hour. Oops, up, Kurt. Theme music. Hey, Kurt. So that was the official unveiling. I probably was playing it way too loud, but anyway. Yeah. So um, who cares? Yeah. So anyway, and if you who if cares? you want any, if you want to know any of this stuff that's back here, let me know. Um, Same thing with back here, although it's pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. So uh, yeah, and that that came from the movie that we watched oh, this yeah. week. Um, it's just but, a running joke. But it was in Turkish, and I don't know how to spell Turkish stuff you so. you you don't even have have, have the letters to, to try stuff in turkish no i don't but no, don't. Uh, but anyway so that's kind of catching us up on stuff right i mean since we've been gone we still have a whole lot of stuff to talk about i do at least dude i have tons of things that i didn't get a chance to talk about on the podcast i made a list okay. all right so i'm gonna i'm just gonna read off the things that we missed talking about since we've been gone let me pull okay. it up here and you you actually wrote it down. <laughs> I actually wrote it down because Turkish I was going to freak stuff. Out. That's right, Turkish. Turkish stuff. There you go. So Turkish where? Stuff. So well, where is it? Oh, you threw that in there. So we didn't get a chance to talk about Marvel's The Eternals or Moon Knight. I haven't watched it. Or Moon Knight. I haven't watched it. Well, that that's just a travesty. Uh, everything. I, the, only, the only everything thing everywhere thing I've watched. Everything everywhere only, all at once. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Free Guy, The Batman, The Atom Project, Turning Red, Black Crab, Top Gun Maverick, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Stranger Things Season 4 Part 1. Those are the things that have come out, or at least started, since we've been I broadcast so that I haven't had a chance to talk about. you only want to talk about movies and TV shows? I haven't, I, I mean, I talked about changing jobs and moving across the country, and I saw those movies. The only other thing is, and, and, and Mitch can attest to this, I play Destiny. There's been nothing else. Experiments for the love of Zer. Experiments with other games. If you have not, oh, and by, uh, I will become next next year when uh, Bethesda's uh, Starfield comes out. You won't see me again. It's Skyrim meets Destiny meets you know whatever. I mean, it's like a thousand planets to explore and, uh, but a role playing game in space. And you can build right. your own ship and your own base. So it sounds so it sounds kind of like Mass Effect with extra steps. Uh, it's better than that. But anyway, so <gasps> <laughs> those are fighting Calm words. Down. Calm down. So so Serenity. there's so there's Serenity. so see Destiny is experimentation. I you know what I can't wait to get that new arm those new armor sets from this season and start messing around. I saw a video today, Mitch, of a guy that was showing all the new uh, seasonal armor. Not the ornaments, but the armor, the actual armor yourself with like the, the flaming skulls and stuff. And he put different types of uh, shaders on them. And man, there are some really cool combinations with that armor. So um, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting on that. But yes. But still, by, by, by experimentation, I mean play more than just one game. Well, look, I don't have a lot of time to do that now. When, when you know, when, when, when it was just me and Mitch up here, not, not Mitch, Mitch, our buddy Mitch, but Mitch, your brother Mitch. When it was just he and I up here, then I, you can ask Mitch, our buddy Mitch, that I was on the Xbox just about every night, and yeah. I could have, but I was just spamming Destiny. But I could have experimented there. Now that your mom's here, I spend the evenings with her, so I play on Friday nights and Saturday mornings. That's about it. Speaking of Saturday okay. mornings, you and I are going to start that doing a Saturday morning game stream, right? Yep, called Game Passing Through. Yeah. E um 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 each week, well 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 actually at the first of each month we're going to roll for for a game in in the Game Pass list and then play that for a month with each other. 
Okay, yeah, right. We're going we're gonna to do something like that. At least until um, Starfield comes out, then it's going to switch to um, Saturdays in Starfield. Because that's what no, I'm going to do. No, no, it's going to, no, it's always going to be us. So, well, one of us. I'm hoping there'll be one some, I'm us. hoping there'll be some multiplayer in there so that you can do it with me because okay. that's what I plan on being doing. Plan on being doing? Man, maybe I should learn English again. Maybe that's what I should have been yeah. doing for six I, months. It's relearning I think you the need language. I refresher course, Dad. I, I need something. So, anyway, um, yeah, so what is it you wanted to talk about? Um, everything I've done in D&D for the past six months. Okay. Go. I have you a lot talking. of D&D stories. I, I, you go ahead. I'm going to kind of check out the window because I hear the siren. Um, for those that just come in lately, um, uh, we actually got a tornado warning in my county. So now I hear sirens. I'm going to go check. So I'm going to disappear for a minute while, uh-oh, my screen just went blank. Oh, what happened to my screen? My screen just turned off and back on. Okay. So I don't know what that is. Oh, there it is. I okay. uh, think it might have been a power fluctuation. No, no, because everything else stayed on. It was just my monitor that turned off. So, okay. Okay. Um, so talk about yourself. I'll be right back. Fine. Well, let's see. The first biggest thing that happened in D that happened in D and D is that I finally have an IRL D and D group. Yeah. There, there was this brand new um, nerd shop that opened up this past February called Dragon's Lair. It's about 20, 30 minutes away from, from where I live. And every Sunday, they have basically an open call for for board games, D&D, um, um, role-playing games, stuff like that. Um, and if you make a reservation with them, you can play. You can have a table and play D&D there. And me, being the eternal DM I am, I could not resist resist this opportunity to play face to face again because for the longest time the longest time i've only ever played online you know with with webcams and everything is in your head and everything and that's cool i mean it's still fun to still play the game but it doesn't have that same passion and realism you get when you play IRL, um, and you're actually sitting at the table and seeing all your players react to the boss battles and everything, you know? That is something you cannot get from behind a screen. And so, and so now for the past month and a half, um, I've played every other Sunday there at Dragon's Lair for about four or five hours. And, and it's every other Sunday because my fiancé, wife, they um they work every other Sunday. So so on the Sundays when they work, that's when I go over to to play. So I have some form of social interaction that weekend because because when she works on Sunday, she also works on Saturday, and I am left alone except for the rabbits in my apartment, and they are and they not good conversationalists. Rabbits. They um they okay, they're fun to talk to, but they can't talk back at you, and I need social interaction. <laughs> I need it. So, so, um, so, right on the update. so that's, so, so, so that's one of my D and D updates. Yeah. Um, another one is, um, I actually do play play in a campaign on, on Fridays. I play a gnome druid named Grumple Trunksman and he may have made a boo-boo. May, he may have made a little boo-boo. Okay. So what's the boo-boo? I'm, I'm, okay. I'm still kind of doing the weatherman thing right now. So, okay. I so it, it's looking kind of rough outside. So so uh, so earlier in the campaign, my character found something called a phoenix gem, and and he went to to grab it because it was a quest item needed to complete something. Um, he grabbed it and it fused to his hand, and his mind was teleported to a form of nightmare dimension controlled by this demon. Um, I was then possessed by said demon. And but and when I was brought back to to the mission area, thankfully I was able to escape the possession, but I couldn't remove the gem. So I had one of my fellow party members in a fit of of adrenaline in the moment. My character asked them to cut off his hand. Now now now, thankfully I I was able to grow back a new hand thanks to a positive religion check with with my goddess Gaia basically turn my arcane focused giant acorn into 
a wooden hand that moved with me. But then later in the set in the campaign, um, me and two of my other party members were sent to this weird dimension as well as part of a trap. Um, we we were just meant to perform simple tasks by this unseen, um, childlike god Sally. It was effectively just playing tag with these hand-drawn looking creatures, and so we did, very aggressively. And then eventually we found out those badly drawn creatures were actually children caught in an illusion. So that means we killed kids. But since we basically completed their um, the demon's task, she said we were all allowed one wish and one gift. Um, the other two party members used use their wishes to, to, to revive the kids and have them sent back to where they were safe and sound. Yeah. I um Grumple found out this this demon this this entity is the same one that caused him to lose his hand, so he wanted revenge. So 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 he said, "I get one thing, I get one wish with no with no back talk." Of course, the demon agreed. Yeah, he said he wanted her. So my so my gnome struck a bargain with a demon to make sure to quote unquote keep her in check. Yeah, but now it's kind of reversed, and now the demon basically uses my character to harvest souls to feed her appetite. Cool. Oh, well, I missed yeah, all that. I, I may have made a boo boo. Has something to do with D and D and a gnome and boo boo and honey boo boo. See, that's why I wanted you to be other. here because the story is better when I have someone to actually react it. To. I'm. Okay, well, I'm trying to make sure that I don't do the Dorothy thing and get whisked away in a tornado to Oz. So, um... That'd be anyway. fun, though. Uh, no. All, the, all those no. munchkins around. No, I don't want that. Sounds like marriage! Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I man. Hope, uh, oh, I Mitch. hope my fiancé is not in the chat right now, or else she would kill me for laughing. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't watch us, so... That's true. She, she finds, um, she finds they, us boring. They they said we they said we put them to sleep. Yeah. So anyway, well, which is weird because I just exude energy. Well, well I you exude positivity. You did put them to sleep when you made them watch our movie, right? No, they stayed awake for the entire thing. They just did not enjoy it. Okay. So do you want to? All right. So we're just going to continue. Um, the sirens oh, stop. Uh, um, um, I've I've got another small update. Okay. We 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 have a second rabbit. Yes, I know that. Oh, you're telling yes, them. Yes, yes, yes. We have a second rabbit. Um, she is about four months old, I believe. We got her her um last month. Um, it's a girl. This adorable little solid black lop-eared hopland rabbit. Um, she is so chill. I mean the vac. I mean, she was just chilling in my chest, nestled in my neck when I was holding her, her um, when when we brought her home. Oh my gosh, this is the most chillest rabbit you've ever seen. Hmm. And she is absolutely adorable. We named her Bella, um, short, short for Belladonna, because okay. because her her solid black coat and, and her demeanor reminded us of a character we both like from this anime. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, we um. We just have our dog and our bunny, but the bunny's here with us now. So, yeah, you know, not done. Um, mom, mom, mom did say Bill. Bill was having a hard time adjusting. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's he's doing okay, but it's fine. So, anyway, let's do something else. Let's let's do let's, um. Let's, do, let's do we want to hear hear the question I thought of? Yes, that's so. I was gonna I was gonna play our little question right, thing. Right. I was gonna hold it's on. Would you rather? What? No, let me play the question thingy. Oh yeah, the question yeah. thingy. <laughs> I want to ask you a bunch of questions, and I want to have them answered immediately. All right, so what's the question? I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions now, and I want them answered immediately. I thought after six months you would have forgotten to do that. Never. I will never forget. Never okay, go. Forget. Go. So the question is, would you rather fight a chicken every time you enter a vehicle? That, um, that, um, that, that means car, bus motorcycle, any type of vehicle, mm -hmm. um, um, you got to fight a chicken or fight a lion once per year. 
You're asking me? Yes. Would you rather fight a chicken every time you enter a vehicle or fight a lion once per year? Uh, chicken. Every time. Okay. You do realize, guys, um, um, you, you enter a car at least twice a day, right? Yeah. That's at, um, that, that's at least 730 chickens a year. Sure. Sure. You want to fight 730 chickens a year. Yeah. You know why? Yeah, free why? chicken nuggets. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, because... You know how to butcher her on, on uh, hundreds of chickens? I'll figure it out. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I can beat a chicken. Okay? I can wear, like, one of those padded suit things, you know, like you wear for, like, dog training. You know, attack dog training. Yeah. Chicken's not going to get through that. You're going to wear that every time you, you get into a car? Yep. Because I could wear that all I wanted to for the lion, and he would laugh at it and eat me. Okay, but but here's the thing. It's just a singular lion once per year. Um, okay. And, and, and you have all this time in between to train up. You're saying um, if you had a year of time, you can train up to, um, to, to, to be a goddamn lion? Yeah, because there wouldn't be once a year, Connor. There would be once, and you'd be dead. There would be no extra year of training for the next time. Once, I, and you're dead. No. I, I would take every the time. lion. No, chicken every time. I would take the lion. Okay, because, well, uh, uh, it's been nice think knowing think you. Think about it. You can have a weapon, and I'm just not a gun. Well, you didn't say that. Oh, yeah. You just said fight just a lion. not a gun. You can um you 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 can have a weapon, just not a gun. Potentially change things, but not necessarily. I mean, okay, okay. So you're saying I gotta quit looking I mean, at you over here. I gotta look up here. So 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 you're saying if you had a full year to train, and you um you couldn't t- take a full on baseball bat, um, and then as the line is coming towards you, just um just um just knock that sucker r- right in the head and. Um, and, and while it's disoriented, completely lay into it. I don't think a baseball bat's going to do any good with a lion, Connor. Okay. You, you so didn't you're, saying that... some, mm-hmm. um, you're saying a full-on metal baseball bat swinging at someone's head and making contact wouldn't even disorient them? You, do, you, do you realize that a lion can leap like 20 feet or something like that? So he could leap at me, and even if I swing, I'm going to hit his paws because his paws are going to be in front of him and not of his head, so I'll hit his paws, which will hurt, but then all that then, 1,500 pounds of lion will land on top of me, <laughs> and I'm done. End of story. It is what it is, man. I, I would still take, take the lion over the chickens. Okay, well. Just, uh, just, just think about it. Okay. What, what are you going to do... With 730 chickens a year, at least. It'll be grab- close to 1,000 by the end. Okay. Um, I'll learn how to catch it and grab it by the neck, and I'll throw it out the freaking window. <laughs> Let somebody else deal with the chicken in the street. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, hop in the car, grab it by its neck, roll down the window, throw it out. Done. You're, you, you are going to be covered in, in talent scars. Not if, I have, year. not if I'm wearing that suit. Okay, so so every time you enter a vehicle, you're you, um, you're you're you're, you're going to have this bulky bomb bomb defusal suit costume. It doesn't have to be that thick. It's a chicken. It can be a good okay, thick so puffy. It can be a puffy jacket. I mean, <laughs> then yeah, just say that. That is believable. A, a, a leather on bomb defusal outfit from the Hurt Locker. Just... That's not believable. Good reference, by the way. So yeah. Um, you know, it could it could it could be a situation where you know, I mean, I wear a nice leather jacket and leather gloves and a uh, leather hat. Done. I am fine. You've, it's a chicken. You, you, you freaking Negan from Walking Dead. I don't know. We're, I don't watch Walking all Dead. all leather. I don't watch Walking Dead, so I wouldn't oh, know. Okay, this okay. This actually reminds me of something I saw earlier this week. Okay, tell okay, me. I saw the most hipster millennial looking outfit i have ever seen walking out of meyer the other day and what would that be okay okay um so so so, so it's this light-skinned oh. guy for for people What's that up? don't know what meyer is meyer is kind of like a midwest um, northern oh. version of walmart but a little bit nicer yes target 
There's still Walmart up here. Sure. Here, but um, but um, but uh, but Meyer is is a more cultured Walmart, in my opinion. Well, that's still setting the bar kind of low. <laughs> cultured Walmart. <laughs> Come on, still, um, it's still higher than freaking Target. There's no people of Meyer.com. There's only people of Walmart.com. So yeah, exactly. Hey, um, you don't find people of Meyer, her because of uh, because people of because people who go to Meyer know not um not not to freaking walk in and with with a crap stain on your sweats. Okay. So anyway, all right. Anyway, so so, so I, I I I think okay. the chicken's the way to go, not the lion. That's yeah. So final story. So going going uh, going back to what I was saying. Okay. So so there were there was there was this light skinned guy walking out of Meyer. He mm-hmm. um he um he, um he had these big puffy braids um um that that somehow stuck straight up. Okay. Mm-hmm. He think dreadlocks. Yeah. But um but but twice as thick and somehow poking straight up. Um he he had. Rounded glasses. We're talking Harry Potter rounded glasses. Okay. Um. He um. He had on suspenders, a um a graphic tee, um, um rolled up jeans, um, long socks, Nikes, and this was the clincher. He had spurs on the Nikes. He had actual classic. Metal clanking, old western sounding spurs on his Nikes. Well, maybe he had a horse in the parking lot. He did not have a horse. He got did into you... a Tesla. Are you sure? Come on. I saw him walk into a Tesla. Okay. But but again, but again. But maybe he just came from his horse riding lessons. On Nikes. You know, natural free range horses. You know. But again, you don't wear Nikes sourced. in impending horses. You don't wear you, you don't wear good. Well, well, well. I say good, but but good looking. I mean, they uh, they're actually bad quality. Good looking tennis shoes, sneakers with mm-hmm. spurs in um in a horse stall. You don't do that. Well, maybe he does. If he can afford a Tesla, maybe he can afford new shoes every day. <laughs> Still though. It was the most backwards thing I've ever seen. Okay. You know, it, it just, the image of it is burnt into my brain forever. In my 80s, um, in, in full-on dementia, I will be able to still perfectly remember what this dude looked like and then just randomly scaring my night nurse. I'll scream out, Nuggies with spurs! I, uh, and be like, where's my butter? We go to Dragon Con every year. Nothing shocks me anymore. Okay, but okay. I, I mean, I'm friends. I'm I have not been to, to Dragon Con for like four years. I'm 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 friends with somebody that wore a leather dog mask last year. You know, for a live broadcast. Just saying. I know. Nothing surprises anyway. me anymore. <laughs> oh, and he and and he and he ate cereal in a bowl of beer. In the dog mask. That's during the live. That's an actual broadcast. thing, though. Though it's cer- No, um, I get that. Beer but, cereal. That's a thing. Yeah, I get that, but not with a leather dog mask. <laughs> was okay. Was there nothing a mouth surprises hole? me, huh? Was there a mouth hole? Yes. Then it's totally okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> um, this just took a really weird turn. Um, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I wear a dog mask. Anyway. Um, that, that would scare move. everybody in stream, I bet. That's, that's, that's putting on a wolf that, mask. That would scare me. Um, <laughs> absolutely, that would scare me. So, uh, okay. So, do it. You want to talk about the movie, or you want to talk about? Is there anything out there that you've been watching lately that you really want to talk about? Huh. Not really, because because none none of the recent Marvel stuff has really gotten my attention, except for Loki. I mean, I mean, um, um, Wanda Vision. I never felt connected to, to to Wanda or Vision, so I didn't feel the the motivation to watch an entire mini series centered around them. You um, missed you missed a really good show. That was a really um, good show. Um, Fal- Falcon and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. It got too racially charged for me, and too politically well, charged for me to actually enjoy it because uh, um, uh, because then uh, because it, um, it was about what the world was experiencing then, and it wasn't about 
what the characters could actually feel. You know, yeah, it, was, I, it was just it was just basically Disney saying we see this and we're trying to fix it. You know, yeah, yeah I know. It's, I, it, it was a pure attention grab. And, um, and, I did watch Loki though, and I loved Loki. I think you loved would really, Loki. I really like Moon Knight. Of all of them, has probably been my favorite. One division, close second. Um, Loki was great. Um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was boring to me. It just it has nothing to do with the racial stuff or any that kind of stuff. It was just boring. It was like an extended. It had a good ending. Marveling. It had a satisfying ending. I will say that. Yeah, but but anyway, um, um, Sam making that speech that was that was a good ending. Yeah. So yeah, uh, um, I, I wish I, I wish that we had been on when the Batman came out because that was such an amazing movie. And you I still know, have not seen it. Don't 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 get Mitch started on it. You know, I mean. You know, Mitch, Mr. You know, Rotund Batman, Mr. Batman down there, um, back home. Um, but even my, even our Mitch, you know, young Mitch. Um, loved I'm just it. not a, I'm and, just not a DC fan. Well, see, and Mitch, you know, my Mitch isn't either, but he loved it. Our Mitch. Yeah, our Mitch. Um, so. They, I will say they chose a good person um, to play Bruce Wayne. You know, that. I was pleasantly um, surprised. I was pleasantly surprised. You know, same I, haven't, here. I haven't seen him in much. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean the, I mean the only thing thing I've seen him in is um is a small bit part in in a single one of the Harry Potter movies and really and then also oh yeah um he um uh, he played Cedric Diggory him in um in the fourth movie and and that character was literally only made in the book and the movie mm-hmm. to then die to to have motivation for Harry. Okay. He was All made right. to just to die. Okay. So anyway, and, um, and, and, and then he also played that, that sparkly vampire in twilight. Yeah. Right. Right. So and that's what, I don't think that's the what movies, most, not the books. Uh, the books I, are good. I think that's what m- most people thought of him, you know, of, of him when, when he got announced to be Batman. Um, and I had seen him in tenant. Um, I didn't understand I'm that Batman. movie Sparkles. at all. But he was good in it, um, and I know that he's done some other things. There's some, uh, I think it's called the Lighthouse that he was in. It's supposed to be amazing, and he was amazing in it. So I, I gave I, I gave him the benefit a... of the doubt, and he was very good. And the cinematography in that movie was fan freaking tastic. Um, so anyway, oh yes, I, I I will say one Marvel thing thing I watched that you watched that you watched as well. What was that No Way Home? No Way Home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one was good. That 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 one was, from a fan's perspective, very satisfying up until the last five minutes. Yeah, well, that'll change. And, and that'll if change. you know, you know. Right, but that'll change. That'll change. So, um, but they seeing did it, dirty. But but seeing is seeing Andrew Garfield back because he was my favorite Spider Man. Andrew Garfield. Yeah, I, he was, I my, always liked Jerry Maguire. You mean Tobey Maguire? Toby Maguire, yes. I don't know why I said Jerry. That would be Toby Maguire. Um, that would be Tom Cruise as a sports agent. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. okay. Speaking of Toby Tom Maguire, Cruise, I, of Tom I Cruise, always like that guy. Top Gun Maverick was freaking awesome. You saw that? That was so good. Yeah, your mom's a huge Tom Cruise Top Gun fan, and so really, yes, yes. Did I could not know that about Top her. Gun is one of those movies that your mom has seen so many times she can't count. Her and your aunt Carlene. <laughs> They can quote really? the entire. They can quote the entire movie almost. Yes, that's all. Awesome. So we went to see that, and that was very good. Um, but but yeah, Stranger Things, the season four part one was amazing. I uh, can't wait for I've season two that comes out in July. I've Stranger Things. Oh, it was really good this year, uh, so far. So so yeah. So there's so much that we could have talked about that we just miss. We missed the boat on. So we're gonna just wait and just pick up where we left off with other mm-hmm. things. But we, we did see Encanto. Yeah, I mean it's it's you know Disney I, animated um, movie. It was very good, but I kind of liked yeah. um, Raya better than Encanto. I think I, I still I still have um have not seen that. Turning Red was good too. So oh yeah, uh, um turn uh, Turning Red was good if if you knew the references and grew up in that generation, you know. You, yeah, but you need to you need to see everything everywhere all at once. Um, it that's probably... that's uh, that's that one with um with oh man, oh man, what's the what's that woman's name? Dang it, that's all. Michelle Yeoh. Michelle Yeoh. That's Yo. it. Yeah, and short and round. Chan. No, it's not Jackie Chan. 
It's not? No, it's the kid. was Jackie Chan. The guy that plays Short Round in the Indiana Jones movie. and played, That's him? And played the kid in Goonies. That's him. He hasn't What's been in movies. movies? Oh, what? <laughs> what? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, I'm seeing, anyway. Okay, I've heard of Goonies. I don't think I've seen it in quite okay. literally a, at least a decade. So anyway, so he hadn't been in movies in years because he says there were no good parts for Asian Americans. And he, he th- they were all pretty stereotypical. So he had just kind of been out of acting. And he got, got this movie offered and saw the script and thought, hey, this might be something worth doing. If he doesn't get some kind of awards for himself for, for playing that role in this movie, it's a travesty. He was amazing. But it's a movie where for the first probably 20 or 30 minutes, I'm like, what in the world am I watching? This is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. I don't understand anything. To laughing out loud in the theater to almost sobbing by the end. It was so good. you got to see it. Oh, and uh, and there's there's a universe where everybody has hot dogs for fingers. Just saying. What the what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's a thing. Has, everybody has hot dogs for fingers in in, in one of the universes. Yes. Um, there's uh, another one where everybody's are, just. There's are another they one. edible? Do they regenerate? I, I'll let you decide what their four play stuff looks like with the finger hot dogs. I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> um, uh, oh, and not oh, that, not oh, that God. dirty, but oh, still. Oh, oh, Oh and then God! There's, oh, oh my God! Then, then there's uh, another. Then there's another universe where uh, everybody's just a rock. They're just a rock, and they're just sitting on a cliff, and they're talking to each other. But there's no there's no dialogue, but you see their words on the screen. It's just so bizarre, but so good. So anyway, um, so yeah, move? what is? It? Can they move as rocks? We'll just have to start. You know, Thor: Love and Thunder's coming out soon, and you know, Stranger uh, uh, Things. I'm I'm actually not looking forward to that. Well, I'm going to see it just because it's Marvel, and, and and you know Mitch is going to want to see it, and you know, but Lightyear's coming out next weekend, mm-hmm. so he wants to go see that. So I got to go see that. Anyway, We're, so um, yes, um, um, me, Nix, you, and Mitchell are are all going to see it this Sunday, right? No, you're misunderstanding. I told you no. I'm, we're coming up there for dinner with you guys on Saturday. Okay. I may have to push the movie with Mitch to Sunday. I'm not coming so back up. I was just telling you what I was just telling you. I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't. Ex- we, I wasn't. We would go up to you. Gas is almost five and a half dollars a gallon. There's no need to drive down here to see a movie. Y'all see it up there. We'll see it down here. Okay. Okay. Enough said about that whole thing. So, speaking of movies, let's talk about this movie and let's get out of here in case I have to go hide in my cellar under my house. um, Wait, you you actually have have a cellar? Kind of. It's where the water heater is, but it's it's standing room down there and there's bricks on the ground, but then the rest of the house under the house is just crawl space. Wait, isn't that where where, where, where those cats got trapped? No, they were under the crawl space. They weren't in the cellar part. But the first time I opened that door into the cellar, when we came to visit the house, it was it was yeah. late in the evening, and so um, I opened it. It was kind of dim outside, and it was stairs going into a pitch black hole. And I'm like, nope, mm-mm, not going down there. Yeah, no, nope, nope. Yeah, no. Nope. It puts the lotion in the basket. Nope, mm-mm, not doing it. <laughs> nope, I'm not, not gonna do it. So it literally took it me about puts two. Puts the th- lotion in the basket. The basket. It took me then... almost a month to get the courage to go down there, and I've had to go down oh, there a couple dude, of times. Oh, trust but... me, Nick's it... would never have gained the courage. They, uh. um, they, they would have sent me down there. There with about fifteen flashlights, set them up, up in, in patterns around the place to fill yeah. it with light. That's but what that they would was, have had me do. That was literally what was in my head. It puts the lotion in the basket, and I'm like, nope, not doing it. So anyway, it puts so, the lotion on the skin, or else it gets the hose, hose again. again. So, so let's talk about our movie. That's a good and, movie. Well, of course it's a good movie. It's Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins. How could it not be a good movie? That's true. I mean, come on. So anyway, um, okay. Oh, one yes. more thing to talk to. <laughs> I I went to my first Pride event um, this um, um, a couple weeks ago. Okay, that was very fun. It was um it it was very cool to 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 experience this side you know mm, okay. and um and and it, and it made me feel really good as 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 a fellow Christian and follower of of God seeing other churches there spreading the positivity of, of the Bible to everyone you know yeah, yeah. And, um in instead of the 
bad stereotypical stuff people associate with the Christians judgmental pride, stuff that you, know? you see in the news and all that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So, 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 so that made me feel really good. Sure. But, That's awesome. Um, and and I I also saw saw my, my, my first drag show there. Okay. Interesting. Well, I not something I, I'm interested felt, in, but okay. I felt like I was in the birdcage. It was awesome. Well, I do like the movie The Birdcage. Um, complete, complete with the monologuing singing queen. Okay, interesting. All right. What? But anyway, um, moving on uh, to the movie. Let's talk about the movie. Let's talk about okay, the movie. I want to talk about the movie because I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting really hot up here. It's like I'm sweating an awful lot. It's like really hot in this attic. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. No, no. <laughs> Do not, whoever's still here does not have to worry about that happening. That is not going to happen. It's not that kind of a show. We're not we're not the the the, the streamers that sit in the bikinis in the inflatable tub in their rooms and stream so that people can come and pay them money to watch them in a bikini in the tub in there. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for okay. my shirt. Shirt okay. so um, sexy it okay. hurts. It's time to talk about our movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the next segment of Roll for Credits. We're moving okay. on. This is deteriorating deteriorating fast, and we started pretty low to begin with. So, okay. So, look, we, okay. we typically will roll dice for a random movie. It's been so long, we didn't have a list. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we figured it would be kind of cool to go back and talk about the movie that we did on the very first episode of The Gene Pool. Back, oh my yeah, gosh, on day one ago? on the very day first episode. One, so um, it's a movie called Gora, it's, as you can see on the screen. It's from 2004. It is mm-hmm. a Turkish, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder in my on the other oh, side I heard of my it. attic. Yeah, so um, it is a Turkish sci fi comedy. Put those um, together. I and it's I, not Bollywood, I, I would call it a, just, I would call it a Turkish sci fi parody comedy. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 it parodies I at least three three major sci-fi film franchises. I counted four or five. Okay, um, Fifth Element. Hold on, The Matrix. Well, 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 we'll get we'll get we'll get to that. So anyway, so let me tell you about the let me tell you the the plot of this movie a little bit. Okay, so Arif is the main character, and he is a Arif. like he's a, a rug salesman, like your stereotypical like and, Persian um, and. T- um, he's he's a rug salesman and a and a faux UFO paraphernalia salesman. Well, which is what I was saying till you. Sorry. Cut <laughs> me off. So anyway, yeah, it's like your, it's like your, your your stereotypical Persian area of the world area rug salesman, but he tries to make money selling alien abduction footage and pictures of UFOs and this kind of stuff, all of which are fake. And he's always going to this guy to try to sell these things. Um, and he's he's one of those kind of people that's always scamming for money and trying to scam people out of money and just uh, always hustling. And he gets abducted by real aliens. Mm-hmm. And who, who at first disguised themselves as freaking Prince Charles and his wife at the time. <laughs> so no, just, no, they yeah. no. They were British, but they were not. They were not disguised as Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Didn't look anything Are you sure? like. Yeah, I'm positive. Didn't look anything like them. Oh. So. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. But they abducted him, and apparently, the captain or, or the commander of this ship hated Logar. hated Earthlings, all Earthlings, because his grandfather had landed on Earth, in. 1789 or something Persia. way back in Persia or Turkey and, and it was and it was like old like old western footage like with the the grainy film and everything and he gets off the his spaceship with his little clunky little robot and they find a, and they find a donkey and as they're trying to figure out what this donkey is and then the the guy that owned the donkey was laying under a bush and um woke up and saw them chased them down hit the robot over the head, the robot fell down on his stomach, and the man started to, uh, undid his pants and started to um, violate the robot. <laughs> and so the grandfather got in his spaceship and took off. 
Um, and so because of that, they uh, they hate all Earthlings. So they were abducting Earthlings from all over the planet, including this Arif guy. And then he ends up being told by somebody in some vision that he's the chosen one. He needs to save the Earthlings and escape Guard and all himself. this stuff. Anyway, and there's a princess and the evil commander is supposed to marry the princess. The princess doesn't want to. Um, Arif ends up saving their planet, rescuing the princess, and takes her fifth element, and takes her off, takes her off to Earth at the end, and they live happily ever after, kind of thing. So, but it does. It first of all, the movie starts out in English. Everybody's speaking English. Yeah. Okay. And then all of a sudden, the second in command says, "Hey, everybody's speaking English. Can we talk? Can we speak in Turkish?" And the commander says, yes, Turkish from now on. And then they switch to Turkish and you're in subtitles the rest of the movie. Yeah. I don't know why ex, they um, did that. Except for bits and pieces of, of English here and here and there that, that Arif says. Well, it's kind of like that that other that Bollywood movie we saw where they just speak Indian and then jump right into English Indeed. right in the middle of a sentence and then go right back. It's just, you know. Exactly. So anyway, um, but yeah, it riffs, it riffs on so many different typical sci-fi tropes you had you know you had the star wars kind of thing where with the like you know the the vision the coming up says you're the chosen one you need to save us this kind of stuff there were lightsabers um some dude was selling flashlights actually they were yeah. flashlights so um then he saves the planet from a flaming ball um literally literally Fifth Element style, they get the five stones, um, the and then he kids. Excuse me, the four stones, and then I, I feel like Monty Python. Four, five, no, three. Anyway, um, and get the four stones. He kisses the princess, and they blow up the the, the meteorite and save the planet. So literally, he does that. The th oh, the the thing that I found found the most funny during that scene is um is, is it the entire time. I'm he um he 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 keep him saying, earth, fire, water, and wood, and everybody keeps telling him no, it's air, and he's like no no no, it's wood, and so with each totem he 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 first tries wood, um but um um but then then he does the real element and it triggers, and he does this with each single stone until finally the last yeah. one, and it's not wood, and, and you're like oh wait you're right it's air, and then just yeah. blows on it. Right, I, I just find that funny that they went to that that much ordeal just to make that joke. Yeah, I know, and and so they do that. And then what are some other things that they riff on? Then there's the um, the Matrix, the Matrix. I mean, complete with the black the black like long coat suit kind of thing and the pose and and um and 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 the full on downloading of the information. You know, oh, just um just just like in that for all of us old folks. I laughed so hard because their computer system that they used to download all the information into his brain on how to fly a spaceship and how to fight and, and to hear a all guy other stuff. to hear a guy in Tur a Turkish guy say in English, I know Kung Fu with that accent it was hilarious. <laughs> it Just was so many different emotions going at once there. But no, the computer they used was a Commodore sixty four. Complete with the tape drive, the cassette <laughs> tape drive. Back oh. in the day, Connor, when I was in middle school and high school, the Commodore 64 is a little computer. I used to have one, and you didn't have USB drives, you didn't have CDs, you didn't have you like the floppy the, the 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 discs, you know, the cassette. I mean, the the floppy disk or anything. They were literally like audio tape cassettes, but that that tape could record data as well, and so cool. the drive was a actual cassette tape and if you wanted to load a program you put it in and hit play and it took sometimes 10 minutes to load a game oh my god because <laughs> it's like playing a tape at a regular speed so um yeah so i thought that was kind of interesting that the end and, and complete with the whole commodore 64 that, that was pretty funny um, uh, yeah yeah so fifth hilarious. element matrix they used the commodore 64 tape drive to get it on there um karate kid you know, all the oh, yeah. wax, you know, the paint on and paint off and all this kind of stuff. Another one that I bet you didn't get was Crashing Tiger, Hidden Dragon, when he was no, balancing. No, 
when he was in the tree when he's bouncing in the tree yeah yeah so that, um, so. um i um i i told nick that's full-on crouching tiger so if you if and then the other thing was when from that point on when he started walking and 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 was and, going and anywhere doing all these gestures he's doing all all it, it was like if you took um jackie chan and he was doing madonna's voguing dance that's what it looked so it looked like martial arts voguing but anyway um, um, and and every single movement he made had um had, had that classic martial arts sounding air whoosh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they went and I, I, maybe this is Turkish humor. I don't know, but they went through a forest and and there were trees that grew sausages. Yeah, and that's, I didn't. That's that's an actual <laughs> Turkish dish. Oh, I'm sure it is, but I didn't understand the whole. Growing it on trees, but it anyway, was, it, um, they probably thought it was funny. Oh, by the way, Arif's sidekick in the movie. Okay, his first sidekick is is um is is this big Turkish dude, and and his name is Bob Marley Farouk. Bob Marley Farouk, complete with the Rastafarian he, hair, the knitted like you know red, Rastafarian green, yellow, cap. green Rastafarian cap. Um, yeah. So and, yeah. Anyway, and that was just funny because uh, because why in the world is this dude just named randomly Bob Marley Farouk? Why? Yeah. And apparently um, he and made it. Apparently he made adult movies, you know, in the '80s in Turkey, um, or he you know kind of helped make those movies. And then he wanted to do a sci-fi movie, and he hated sci-fi because they wouldn't do his movie. So that was yeah. his backstory. Um, but anyway, and, and then and then his his second sidekick was um was 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 a princess's former personal android 216 who <laughs> oh my gosh this this yes. robot he was he was he was he was yeah hello he was he was he was he was homosexual he was gay yep 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 i mean i was very clearly all i mean it was it was it was like the stereotypical effeminate you know flamboyant kind of stuff but he was a robot which was yes. kind of weird. Offici kinda yes, officially he he was technically a robot, but otherwise he was, yeah, was, full on RuPaul. It was an interesting take on an android. You know, yes. imagine, imagine if 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 C three PO was yeah, yeah. So or even R two D two. But and and well and then Commander Logar's second in command, same way. He was he was pretty they they were both gay. Yeah. Um. And, I mean, I mean, I mean, in one scene. Well, in, in um, one scene, Commander. They were watching Logan. a sort of hologram of a man stripping. Yeah, um, and then you know, in one scene, there's Commander Logar and his second in command. What was his name again? I don't even remember. Title? And the mid and the midget. Oh yeah. Oh, the they, midget. They called him that. That's why I'm calling him that. That's what they called him. But um, the little person, um, all in bed together. Um, drinking some kind of alcoholic drink, uh, mm -hmm. clearly after the fact. Yes, um, clearly so after. it was just really weird. And then they had to, they had to, their, their soldiers modeled their summer uniforms, which were hot pink, shiny spandex. Mm -hmm. Um, it was just booty short length. Do you, can you understand what, from what we're saying, how weird of a movie this was? It it's is Turkish totally sci-fi that rips on all these sci-fi tropes that has gay androids in it and sausages growing on trees and just I loved it. <laughs> I mean, it was, I mean it, it, it's so bad it it's is good. so bad it becomes good. Yeah, it was one of those. And that was that was what when we first started this podcast, that was what we originally it was. It was called the best of the worst on Netflix. That's what exactly. the segment was going to be, and it just got kind of hard. Sometimes we would run up on movies that were just flat out bad, so there wasn't much. No, there wasn't much to say about them, so we switched uh, to just kind of uh, random other movies. Times, other times we um, we found just totally hidden gems. Oh man, yeah, like Radius. That was a good one. I that loved was Radius. a good one. Uh, what was another good one that we really liked? I need to go back uh, and Cloverfield. look. Cloverfield. Cloverfield, it was, uh, was it Cloverfield? Yeah, maybe. I can't remember. There was oh, a ooh. few, there was a few that um, were, that were. Um, that monster one. 
Oh, no, Colossus? Them. Colossus. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That yeah, was good. With, um, with the girl that somehow controlled the monster all the way yep. in Korea. Yeah. That was that was actually that was actually an interesting movie. Uh, oh, yeah. Very, a very interesting concept. Yeah. So we, we've seen some really good ones, but we ran up on some dogs. Um, oh, yeah. So I'm trying to think if there's ever... I mean, because, look, guys, we don't do movie reviews. We don't know how to do that. We just talk about them. So... Yeah. Um, you can't say that we do bad that our movie reviews suck because we don't. That's not what we're doing. <laughs> we don't know exactly. how to do that. Um, but is there more that you wanted to say about them? I'm trying to think there was if there was something um, else that I wanted to say. I, about I loved the I loved the running joke with the little person. Oh yeah, that, so, which is that. Yes. So, so so go ahead. So the so the running joke in the movie was there was this little grunt, a little person. He um who um who had the classic Jordy Jordy LaForge visor, um had a freaking and bald top but 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 wild hair on the sides, wore mm-hmm. with this weird red wore with this weird red jumpsuit, and his whole thing was um was he would come in at random times when um when when the commander and and the second in command were were talking, he would just say he he would just say um. Commander Logar? Yes, dear. An object is approaching. Who are you? And um and then the second in command would just basically scream at him, get right. out, 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 out. And um and it's just they did that at least four times before the final one, which which actually got him in bed with Commander Logar yeah, you know, and the it... second in command. And it's just why did they have this running joke, you know? And and I mean, the thing the thing it's, is, it's, and, and honestly, and honestly, uh, the whole ordeal actually sounds hilarious in Turkish. I don't know the, why, but the, it just the, does. The thing is that sometimes there was nothing approaching. Exactly, um, that that was the was, joke. Was, he um, he he came in at random times with um with freaking in um out of context sensor readings. Yeah. Well, anyway, you know? so you know. It's, it's, almost, it's almost like he was lagging in the command. If you want, if you want to watch a movie that's just, just funny because it's kind of so bad, and I don't think that they made it. I don't think that they were trying to make a good sci-fi movie. I think they were trying to be silly. You know, if they were trying because, uh, to make, if they because, were trying to make um, a good movie, and it was just they that went bad, I feel so bad. So many times, I, 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 I would have felt bad. Oh yeah, I mean, sometimes he broke the fourth wall and he talked to the people on the screen. He talked to us, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think they just had fun with it and were just silly. There's a sequel, by the way. Arog, um, Arog, it would G O R A backwards, however you want to pronounce that. But anyway, uh, we haven't that watched that one actually, yet. We we are gonna we are saving that one for for our centennial episode. Yeah, if we ever <laughs> when we get there. Um, so so yeah, so you know, I mean. We didn't really pick a random movie. We just w- want to talk about one because we just needed to catch up. And really, this episode is just helping us get back in the saddle again. So, Man. for the folks that stop I'm by, back in the saddle again. Moving what? on. So anyway, <laughs> um, random song break. Um, really, this was just they a chance for us voice. to break the ice and get back into this. It was. I have to admit that all day I've been kind of nervous about doing this because I've kind of forgotten how to do things. I, shout out to some of our Legions of Dorks friends, Travis and Steven and and, and all those guys for wow. answering questions about stuff because my audio stuff, when I had to reinstall everything, wasn't working right. Uh, Travis hopped on with me the other night and helped me find the problem in about 20 minutes. It would have taken me hours to find that one setting that was jacked up. So thank you so much for that. Um... We will be doing this on Monday nights at 7 o'clock mm-hmm. and um, doing some game streaming together on Saturday mornings. Probably super early, so most people won't watch us because we'll be because you and I are early risers. So like 7.30, 8 in the morning on Saturday we'll be doing this. Uh, just playing Early a game to together. bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Yeah, but I, I go, I'm early up and I don't go to bed early either though. So I, maybe that's why I'm old and tired. So and, and 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 maybe that's why I'm healthy and wise. Haven't gotten to wealthy yet. I'm getting there. 
Well, one out of three ain't bad. I'm two out of three. <laughs> I'm smart, I'm wise, and I'm healthy generally. So, um, yeah, uh, this this was fun to just kind of get back in it. Um, just get back in, hear your voice again. Content. I missed your he- miss hearing your voice. You know, content has never been our our, our strong suit. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Just this has here always talk. just been something for us to do, just to hang yeah. out. You hey, know? folks want to. If folks want to come in here and hang out with us, they can. But uh, this is a chance for for Connor and I to do this and talk nerdy stuff. If y'all want to exactly. join us talking nerdy stuff, hop in on Monday nights on Twitch and and talk nerdy stuff with with us. Talk nerdy to me. Uh, that'd be great. Talk nerdy to me. Okay, the music didn't even sound like the song that talked nerdy i can't i can't do notes i can do lyrics okay anyway um yeah so is there anything else you want to talk about i think we probably should just go i mean we've we've kind of gotten to the point where we're just kind of rambling at this point let it go let it go save it for next you need to you need to pick something to watch that we can talk about that would that off my list that i've seen so we can talk um, about okay. it. Okay, I, I will watch Moon Knight and WandaVision. Okay. By next week? Yeah. That's like, that's a lot of watching. That's like six to eight episodes each. That's like 14 hours of, in, in seven days. But whatever, man. You do you. Yeah, f- okay. 14 hours out of seven whole days. What's, what is seven times 24? I get that. I no, I get that, but you have other things you do too. So I I have essentially a a, a, a full a full hour commute cumulatively actually actually an, an over hour commute cumulatively be um just um just heading to and from work. I can watch it in the car. Uh no, you're driving. No, no, oh my g- oh. no, that is death waiting to happen. Okay, people, you know, there's all these laws about don't text and drive. Uh, there's certainly a rules about it's don't on watch. a phone mount, and and um and and I don't even fully watch it. I just listen. Okay, all right. Um, you guys heard it here first. That not only did he say what he said, but his father advised him against it. He's an adult. I have no control over him. I'm not liable for him. <laughs> it's on him. All right. Let's just roll for the next movie, Dad. So let's roll for the next movie. Okay. So what we do for the, for this was we roll random dice. We roll dice, dragon dice. We roll a 20-sided dice to kind of figure out what kind of streaming service we're going to do. And between the two of us, we have a bunch of them. So uh, well, we're going to roll that. A total of four. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and then HBO Max. Disney+. Plus. We um we don't include Disney Plus because uh be uh be uh, because they don't um they don't separate by by genre they um they um they organize by film studio. Yeah, well that's true. So anyway, okay. So we roll roll a twenty sided dice to pick out which service we're going to use. Then we roll a ten sided dice to figure out what genre and on that service we're going to go. And then we roll a hundred sided die to figure out what movie in that list in that genre we're going to do. So exactly. I'm going to roll. And we got a 15, and that would be HBO Max. Okay. Nice, nice. So, That's a good, solid pick. Now we're going to see in a roll day two. So that would be comedy. Nice. Okay, okay please do something with Adam Sandler. I need a good Adam Sandler movie. I've been craving me some, some, some of, um, of, of The Sandman. Okay. Come on, come on. Come and on. now rolled a 42. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to look for the 42nd comedy movie on HBO Max. So All right. Give me just a minute to pull that list up, and I'll start searching, and we'll Let's go from it. there. So hang tight. Play the waiting music. Did uh, didn't my prayer work? That's weird. Wait, what? 
Did it actually work? <laughs> what is it? Um, I've seen it before. I wasn't a huge fan of this movie. 2003, Jack Nicholson, Adam Sandler. Oh, wait. Anger Jack Management. Nicholson? Yep. As um as um as in here's Johnny Jack Nicholson? Yep. With Adam oh Sandler. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So that's the what? movie we're gonna watch from two thousand three. Um What's it called do... again? Anger Management. Anger Management. Yeah. So um so yeah, so next week we're gonna this watch This may not be a kid friendly movie. <laughs> where there's lots of language I know. I don't remember but it's just it's kinda rough that way. It's not like other stuff, but it, uh, anyway. Um so yeah, so anger management next week and Woo! um I don't know what else we'll do. Maybe we'll talk Moon Knight, maybe we'll talk go back and revisit WandaVision because it's been out for a while. I don't know. Um but we're gonna be here next Monday night at seven o'clock. And we're going to talk more nerdy stuff. And feel free to stop by and say hi or not. Um, but if you don't, uh, download the podcast. You can subscribe to our podcast anywhere that you listen to your podcast. Just search for Gene Pool Variety Hour. You can see us. Yep. You know, we host on Podbean, but you can get it on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, all, all the places. All, um, all the places. And we stream, we stream on Twitch. At June, uh, twitch.tv at Gene Pool Variety Hour on Monday nights, and we'll be doing uh, doing game streaming on Saturday mornings on the same channel. Um, you can find me on Twitter at HeadGamer. Um, you, you you can find me on, on Twitter, even though I don't post from there. Um, at at Quillmeister. Yeah, and Instagram is HeadGamer. Uh, the podcast is Gene Pool Variety Hour on Instagram. I post there fairly regularly, not not so much on Twitter. Um, so yeah, so that's what we do. That's who we are. Uh, for all the folks that stopped in to say hey, I know you guys aren't aren't still in here, but I appreciate you stopping by to say hey. Uh, it meant a lot, and especially for not having been here for six months to take some time out to pop in to say hey, that was awesome. So y'all yeah, really have a great week. Uh, y'all enjoy yourselves, uh, and always remember, stay nerdy, my friends. It's over. Go home. See you guys. <laughs>